Hello, I would like to present you today how to implement elementary logic gates like uh, AND, OR, NOT using only one type of gate, the NAND gate. The NAND gate is the opposite of the AND gate, so when I have A and B as input with one and one, the result will be zero, and for all the other inputs, pairs of inputs, the result will be one. Let's create a small, a very small circuit using an AND gate to see the result. I will add a pin, uh, the second pin as input, then another pin as output. I have to put it as output in here and orientation should be west. Connect it, then is, good idea, is, a, is a good idea to label A. And it's A and B. Now if I go in here and choose the finger, I can uh, feed the circuit and change the bits and watch the result. So if I have 0 and 0 it will be 1. If I have 1 and 0 is 1. If I have 0 and 1, it's again 1, but if I have both of them 1, the result will be 0. And we can see, we can see uh, that um, when A is 0 and B is 0, I have 1. And when A is 1 and B is 1, I have 0. So if I do the next, implement the next circuit with another NAND gate and instead of using two different inputs, I'm using just one input like this and connect it like this. So I will always have the same value on the on the two inputs of the NAND gate, zero or one, but always the same. I will have to set again an output pin. It should be output orientation to the west. Then in here the label should be A. Sorry. Um, in A, yes, then I have in here out something, and if I connect it, let's see which is uh, how in which way behaves. I will go to simulation. And if I click on in here, if I put 1 in here, then the result is 0. If I, if I put 0 in here, the result is 1. And what does it mean? That it really is a NOT operation. So this is the implementation of the NOT operation using an AND gate. So I will change the label to OUT not A. Okay. Then I, uh, I can go to the next operation, which is A and B. And what can I see? Um, when A is 1 and B is 1, the result is 1 in here. And for the rest is 0, the rest of the input. And this is the opposite as for the NAND gate. 1 and 1 results in 0 and for the rest is 1. So in fact, what I have to do to implement the A and B 
logic is to negate an end operation. If I'm able to negate an end operation, then I will get the end uh, opera operation. So I have to uh, add a gate and then I will uh, add two input bits like this, connect them, then I will add another bit in here, but I know already that I have to negate the result of this NAND, but negation means to use a circuit like this at the NOT operation, so I have to add another NAND gate because I'm using only NAND gates. I'm going like this, like this, and sorry, I have to make it output and orientation to the west and like this. Um, let's label them. In, in A1. I cannot uh, put two labels with the same name, so that's why I'm changing them all the time. In B2, and in here is A and B. And I go to simulation. 0, 0 is 0, and then I put a 1, nothing change, is still 0. I put in here a 1, nothing change. If I put them both 1, then the output is 1. So that's it. In the case of uh, OR, A or B, um, in order to express A or B using only the NOT operation, only the NOT operation and only the AND operation, I have to do some uh, transformations. And these transformations are in here. So I start from A or B, then I add to the expression the negation of a negation and the expression will stay the same. And inside uh, of uh, the first knot, so I'll have the expression not A or B, using the Morgan rules, I'm uh, changing it to not A and not B. So I'll have not, not A and not B. Let's try to implement this one. I'm going in here, I'm ending a gate, and I'm ending another gate, and what does it mean? No matter what input, I have first to negate it, and then do something about it. Um, yes, I will go and add an input pin, I negate the input pin, the first one, I negate it, then I add another pin, I negate this one also, then once I have NOT in here, I will uh, uh, have to implement the AND operation. The AND operation is expressed in here. So. I add another NAND gate, feed the input, like this. Then I have to add this part, another NAND gate. Like this. And once I have this, I'll have to apply this NOT operation which correspond to 
to the first knot in here. So another NAND gate like this and I have to add a pin, an output one, connect it and uh, let's simulate it. If I go like this, I click in this zero on this pin, it will become one. I click on this pin in here, both are one, it is still one. I make this pin zero, it is still one. If I make this one zero, zero and zero is zero. So it's exactly, uh, so it's an implementation of OR. Now by looking at the diagram and knowing already that, uh, let me change it, so, and knowing already that this constructing here it's a knot, I have two knots and I have actually a negation of a negation and this negation of a negation cancels itself so based on this I can uh, simplify the diagram of an OR operation by eliminating these two gates in here. So this is what I will do. Like this. Let me delete this one also. And having this con uh, construct, which is uh, uh, which has less gates, let's see which is its behavior. If I have 0 and 0, the result is 0. If I have 1 and 0, the result is 1. If I have 1 and 1, the result is 1. And if I have 0 and 1, the result is 1. And back to 0 and 0, the result is 0. So this is a simplified uh, expression. Simplified uh, version is not simplified, it's let's say optimized version of uh, the OR operation. Um, and uh, the same the same thing happens for the XOR operation, but in the case of uh, XOR operation, um, I will have to have I, I, I will have to follow this one in here and this one in here. So the XOR operation will be one for the following conditions when I have A zero, not A is one, and B or A is one and not B is one. And this is the expression that I have in here. So not A and B or A and not B. Um, an implementation of this is like this. I have one input. I have a second input. I have a uh, negation of the first input and then another negation for the second input. Let's put it uh, like this. Sorry. Like this, okay. So this is the negation. Like this. Now this input in here is like this. And like this. Then, not A and B from here. The end operation is this one. I will have to do it like uh, this. I will go in here. Not A. And, sorry, and B and then a negation 
like this. And then I have to do the same thing for uh, the other pair is like this. And then a negation. Like this. And the result has to be fitted into an OR operation, which is this one in here. And what does it mean? It means that I have to add another NOT operation like this and another gate sorry like this and these two will have to be fed into a NAND gate then I will go like this and like this okay and in, I have to add a, an output pin and make it output, change orientation, and do it like this, and maybe to remove this one and this one also. That's okay. And uh, let's see what we have. If I have zero and zero, the result is zero. If I have one and zero, the result is one. If I have one and one, the result is zero. And if I have zero and one, the result is one. So this is the way the XOR gate, gate works. When I have either, when I have zero, A zero, B one is one, a is 1, B is 0 is again 1, but if they are both the same value, 0 or 1, then the result will be 0. But again, I see here the negation of a negation. And these two gates cancel themselves, and also these two case gates cancel themselves. So let's try to remove them and see what is happening. I will remove them and uh, let's move it closer like this. And again simulation. So I have 0 and 1, the result is 1. I have 1 and 1, the result is 0. 1 and 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0. So the, this again it's a correct implementation of, a, of the XOR operation but with less gates. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.